SwiftUI gives us a number of environment properties that describe the user's custom accessibility settings, and it's worth taking the time to read and respect those settings. Back in project 15, we looked at accessibility labels and hints, traits, groups, and more. But these settings are different because they're provided through the environment. This means Swift UI automatically monitors them for changes and will re-invoke our body property whenever one of them changes. For example, one of the options is differentiate without color, which is helpful for the one in 12 men who have color blindness. When this setting is enabled, apps should try to make their UI clearer using shapes, icons, and textures, rather than colors. To use this, just add an environment property like this one. At environment, accessibility differentiate without color, var differentiate without color. That will be either true or false, and you can adapt your UI accordingly. For example, in this next code, we'll use a simple green background for the regular layout, but when differentiate without color is enabled, we'll use a black background and add a check mark instead. HDAC, if differentiate without color, image, system name, check mark dot circle, text success, dot padding, dot background, differentiate without color, if differentiate without color is true, then color.black, otherwise color.green. Then foreground color is color.white, and clip shape is capsule. You can test that in the simulator by going to the settings app and choosing accessibility, display and text size, differentiate without color. Another common option is reduce motion, which again is available in the simulator under accessibility, motion, reduce motion. When this is enabled, app should limit the amount of animation that causes movement on screen. For example, the iOS app switcher makes views fade in and out rather than scale up and down. With SwiftUI, this means we should restrict the use of with animation when it involves movement, like this. At environment, accessibility, reduce motion, var, reduce motion. At state, private var, scale, CG float equals one. We'll have text hello world, dot scale effect, scale, dot on tap gesture, if self reduce motion, self.scale star equals 1.5. Otherwise, with animation, self.scale star equals 1.5. I don't know about you, but I find that rather annoying to use. Fortunately, we can add a little wrapper function around with animation that uses UIKit's UI accessibility data directly, allowing us to bypass animation automatically. Funk with optional animation result underscore animation optional animation equals dot default. Underscore body is a closure that throws and returns result. The whole thing rethrows and returns result. Inside there we'll say, if UI accessibility dot is reduced motion enabled, return try body. Else, return try with animation, animation body. So when reduce motion enabled is true, the closure code that's passed in is executed immediately. Otherwise it's passed along using with animation. The whole throws rethrows thing is more advanced Swift, but it's a direct copy of the function signature for with animation, so the two can be used interchangeably. Use it like this, with optional animation. Using this approach, you don't have to repeat your animation code every time. One last option you should consider supporting is reduce transparency. And when that's enabled, apps should reduce the amount of blur and translucency used in their designs to make doubly sure everything's clear. For example, this code uses a solid black background when reduced transparency is enabled, otherwise using 50% transparency. At environment, accessibility, reduce transparency, var reduce transparency. Then text hello world again, dot padding, dot background, if reduced transparency is true, then color.black. Otherwise, color.black, dot opacity, 0.5. Then dot foreground color white, and clip it to be a circle. That's the final technique I want you to learn ahead of building a real project. 
so please reset your project back to its original state so we have a clean slate to start on.